now that everything's settled a little bit, day and a half on, the emotion of, of Thursday night, just sum it up how you feel, how you feel now. I know you'll be looking forward to the final, but maybe a bit of reflection on what an amazing night it was. Yeah, it was amazing because um, in the end was a reflection of what we are building here. Um, a different project than the ones I had before. And, um, you know, a big challenge. And in the end to see the way the stadium was, the happiness of of the fans, the emotion of uh, of the players, everyone that work in the club played that game in a way. And uh, I know what people can can say is not Champions League, is our Champions League, is the competition that we that we played. So to reach uh, the final, and I have to admit to reach the final, uh, winning against. Uh, a Premier League team with the prestige that the Premier League clubs uh, have. Also with the difficult history Italian teams lately have against um, the Premier League teams. I have to admit that was even um, a, big, um, a bigger feeling for us. And it showed, because you say that it's not the Champions League, you've won Champions Leagues, you've won Europa Leagues, you've won big titles. I don't think I've ever seen you that emotional at a final whistle. Does that... No, because, exactly because, um, you know, there are jobs where um, win or reach finals are just uh, a normal consequence of the power, the potential, the organization, the ambitions. And, um, and this one is a different story. Uh, this is a consequence of incredible hard work from, from the beginning. Um, and you felt the stadium, you were there, maybe on TV people doesn't get the same feeling as one get when he's in the in the stadium, in the streets. Rome was was in a way that we, in the club we can only feel um, pride in it, because uh, beginning of the season we were all far from doing the way we did it. And you were speaking about Champions Europa and Conference. Champions, yes, is a different level. Europa League is not a different level than Conference League. Is in the beginning. In the beginning, you can say because in the beginning, in Conference League, you get some teams from countries that normally they don't reach uh, these competitions. But then progressively uh, come into a level where I believe this uh, semi final Leicester Roma was from probably a higher level than the Europa League semi-finals. So I wanted to speak to you a little bit about you doing what you always do and that's improving players and specifically three people, Chris, Chris Smalling. What, how have you managed to turn him into, again, the, the kind of defender that he always promised to be? You know, I think uh, the situation with Chris is about finding a balance on his body that allows him to be regular and to be in playing regular because after that his experience, his, his know-how, his qualities as, as a defender are there and it's just a question of developing it also tactically in relation to the, the system the team plays and the defensive organization of, of the team. We did Oh, we are doing a, a fantastic job here in the club from day one uh, in relation to the um, to the injuries and in relation to the availability of the players. If you remember last season, the incredible number of, of injuries that affect negatively the season, 
uh, this season we organize from from the beginning um, we work a lot on prevention we have we have less assistant coaches in relation to the pitch work because it's some work that I love to do but we put more emphasis on gym work trying to to prevent injuries uh, trying to reduce the timings of recovery and at that level my people is doing an amazing job Chris is one of the of the examples um, is doing very very well this season is playing at at a level that makes me really happy about him because um, he's a fantastic he's a fantastic player and uh, in this moment he's recognized here in uh, in England, in, in, in Italy, even in a funny way, kind of Smaldini, which is half Smalling and half uh, Maldini, um, is doing is doing amazing for us. And Henrik, the Katarian, uh, another player that in, perhaps in the past wasn't giving you everything that, that you wanted, and yet here is. No, we we won together three titles with Man United. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. Unfortunately, the last three titles of, of Man United, and I say unfortunately because yes, I I like the club very very much and I wish the club the the best. But we won three titles together, so everything went well. In the second season, we were together was a little bit uh, a little bit different, and um, the thing that makes me really happy was because in the beginning, as always. People tries to go on a negative, and people was trying to say, Mikitarin with Jose has no chance. Jose is the kind of guy that, when things go wrong, never go well again. And it was proven exactly the the opposite. We were very mature. We were very honest with uh, with each other. Um, at that time, um, even with Mino, uh, rest in peace, Mino. Um, the discussion was was very good. We all know that um, I am. A, oh, I try always to be very very honest with the with the players. I saw. I saw Rome and my project in Rome needing a player like like um, like Miki. I also understand uh, immediately in the beginning uh, the importance of Miki even in the in the group. And he's doing an amazing season. He's the kind of guy that is helping us to cope with all the problems that we faced. Because as a small squad, as a squad uh, without many options, Miki was playing everywhere. Um, he was playing as a winger. He was playing as a ten. Then we had injuries and COVID situations, and he became a central midfielder that he's never been in his in his life. Um, I'm so happy with them. Um, with Miki and I'm I'm happy with with people tr understanding that um, with me not everything is black or white and it's possible that um, a player becomes with a different relation than it was in the past. And, and Tammy Abraham well, wasn't really given the chance at Chelsea to shine like it like he's shining here. Is it? He says with you, it's just a case of you always say to him, not well done, but. You can do better. Always. <laughs> and he knows that. And in this moment, it goes even like almost a joke. Uh, because, of course, against Leicester, he was uh, absolutely amazing. And I, in this moment, I joke and I say, I refuse to praise him because he can always do better. He knows how much I, I'm happy. He knows how much I, I love the, the kids and, and the player. And I'm, I'm proud of what we are doing. And I'm so so happy for uh, for Tammy, but um, in the end we got into this kind of relation where uh, I demand a lot from him because I know that he can that he can do amazingly well. Um, I, I don't think it's an easy decision for a young local player to leave his club, to leave his house, his city, his country, to leave the Premier League, which of course is a competition that. When a player is in, it's hard to leave. He made that that option, and I think he made it by by trust on 
by trust on me. Uh, and I think, you know, in this moment, if uh, he wants to go back to England, I don't think he wants now, but if he wants to go back to England, he just needs to click his fingers. And um, I'm so happy for him. Uh, back to national team, uh, loved in, in Rome. I don't say proven everybody wrong, because I think everyone knows that he's a good player. And I think also uh, with, with uh, Smalling, with Tomori, showing the English boys that there is life outside uh, the Premier League. And um, in Italy is a life that can make them even better players than they are. What are you planning for the second year of the project? Many changes in the squad? You know, it depends, of course, um, of the owners. You know, um, of course, we want to try to get into into Champions League. Uh, but when you look to the level of uh, investments of uh, Inter, AC Milan and Juventus, you realize that three of these spots are basically or should be basically closed. There is a fourth spot. Last season was, was Atalanta. Uh, this season is... Uh, is Napoli? Can we get? Can we get there next season? I think we can. Um, in this second part of the season, after the, the the January market, we did small, but was enough to improve the squad. So by not doing the things that one, of course, would like, um, I'm not as lucky as as some coaches that they can buy what they want. But by doing things with criteria, we can improve things. So yes, next season, after this this year of uh, of work and evolution at every level, I think we we have a chance, and that's the next target for next season. This one, just say no or not going to answer. That's fine. But Nemanja Matic is free. You've bought him twice before. Any prospect of him? At I never like to speak about about players. Um, I don't think it's good for me, for the club, for the players. Um, everybody knows my relation with with Amania. Uh, he's one of the guys of my trust. We won together, we fought together in in United too. Um, and he's a fantastic uh, a fantastic player but that's a kind of, of answer that is not good for me or for the player. You've reached finals with every club that you've ever been at. You reached the final with Spurs. You, you weren't able to yeah, get. Yeah, you know, I, I am in a in the maturity of of my career and also my my life, where I don't have um, I don't have bad feelings. You know, I just try to. To accept the things the way the way they are must have hurt, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, it hurts. I take it in a in a funny way every time I speak with some English journalists like you or press conference. I always come with with the joke. I qualify to the final. I hope not to be not to be sacked this time uh, because it's something that doesn't happen to many to many coaches. <laughs> This time I cannot say I am a privileged one because it happened to me. I don't have regrets. I don't. I don't have um, bad feelings. Uh, lots of nice people in in Tottenham. I wish them the best, even to Mr. to Mr. Levy. But um, a guy with my career and uh, with my my history, I think, was something strange to to happen. But in the end, open the door for me to be in, in Rome and I'm very happy to be in Rome. Of course, I would, I would love to be in a position of, uh, of fighting to, to win titles or to be in Champions League where I played, I don't know, 160, 170 matches there. But I am I'm loved here. I love people here. I feel very, very part of this, this empathy created between uh, the fans and and the club and myself and and the players. I'm very happy here. 
you seem happy and they certainly love you uh, and then maybe you know at the end of the three-year project you stay and you and you carry on winning things with Roma or maybe you find a new Who chance. Knows? I don't I don't know in this moment everything is is very calm because I have two more years of um, of contract the club didn't approach me to try to to extend so they don't put me in a situation of accept or don't accept everything is very calm is very stable and I think that's the way it has to it has to be I have just to finish the season the best we we can and 100% start next next season because I'm not looking to for a change um, my people knows that I'm not looking for a for a change and I couldn't I couldn't leave the club in my my second season I couldn't do that to the club so next season I'm here going forward then into the future an imaginary world maybe as a club a big club that's underachieving that's got crazy passionate fans in the Premier League I, I know you have an that. association with no 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 I can only say that uh, that yes it's true uh, since uh, since Sir Bobby that uh, I learn what Newcastle is and I learn how to like the club very much through uh, Sir Bobby mm -hmm. eyes and heart and I'm very happy that they found their uh, stability uh, Eddie is doing a, a good work the club gave the tools for a change in the January market and I wish them the best another club obviously that is very very close to your heart and I know you're not following the ins and outs of the takeover but there is big changes afoot at Chelsea you're you're the the, the man who walks this earth who's got the most passion and, and, and who's loved the most by by Chelsea fans for all you achieved there just I just wonder if, you, if what your hopes were for, for Chelsea going forward you know of course it's a difficult moment and you gave it you can even feel it at football level because they they lost that level of excellence and stability but is the moment is the moment uh, you know uh, if you ask me do i have somebody that i would love to take over from my chelsea let's say that yes i have but i close my my mouth and i didn't I just know that the club reached such a level that um, doesn't matter who with Chelsea will be always Chelsea will be always big, and my house will, will always be <laughs> 200 meters away from from the stadium. So I I want to keep listening to the to the sound of happiness and. Uh, success and I'm pretty sure that is going to be like that maybe the fans get more involved that's what John Terry for example wants you know John is John is Chelsea even if he's not working there or John is Chelsea uh, Chelsea was made by by people like um, like him and just finally thanks for your time it's been brilliant I know you reflected a couple of months back on on the, the situation in in Ukraine, but also various situations around the world, and you, 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 you know, you, you, you started a press conference with just a, an appeal, really, for sense and for wars to stop. Why did you feel that you wanted to say that at that at that moment? There is nothing more that I can that I can say, and it's more about what I feel than what I say. I'm nobody to say anything with with any impact. My deep feelings are probably the same as as yours is the war in Ukraine uh, was the war in Syria uh, is the the wars in Africa is the war in Palestine Gaza Strip uh, it's just a, a deep feeling of um, why and how can we stop it but it's just feelings from a human being I, I I'm nobody to say any more than that